I am not different from all coaches in the world. I think we would like to have the best talent on our team. And he, he, if he gets his former fitness at his former level, for sure, he would have have that level to help Jamaica. And all coaches would like to have good players in their team. So we are not, not any different from other coaches. Um, yeah, for sure, he has some baggage. Uh, but I think it's, it's premature to be talking about a player not here. We'd like to focus on now our games against Haiti and Grenada with the players that we have selected. Whatever happened will happen. But yeah, I, I think, you know, I, I'm not different from any other coach in the world. I like to have the best players with the best abilities to play for my team. So just to be honest on that and answering your question about that. So that was Himir Al Grimson speaking on the Mason Greenwood situation. And one of the reasons why I said, let us take Steve McLaren's comments regarding Mason Greenwood with a pinch of salt. Might be extra pressure added on. I have another clip. I have another clip that I'm going to play. That first clip was a lot, couple of months, a few months well back. <laughs> With um, Al Grimson speaking about the potential of Mason Greenwood playing for um, the, the reggae boys. So I have a next video that I'm going to play. This is just a month ago or less when he did this interview with the Ireland FA, he came under some pressure from the Ireland community and um, footballing community saying that they don't want to see him selecting players who are in the situation of Mason Greenwood. I'm going to play the clip for you to listen to exactly what he said about that particular situation. But before we do so, I would implore you Let's do the YouTube stuff. Welcome back, people, to MG Sports TV. Thank you very much again for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm not here to waste your time. I don't want my time. Your time is valuable. My time is valuable. So we're not going to waste each other's time. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, and thank you very much again for your support. Whatever times when you're watching this on. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Really, really appreciate the support. Let's get into the next video. This video is, I think, personally, I think it's an eye-opener. We will speak about Steve McLaren in a minute, but let's listen to Al Grimson next video. It's always in what context the question is asked, in, in what scenario the, the, the question is asked. I absolutely don't approve of his actions, just to make that clear. The, the question to me was after the president of the Jamaica Federation and the general secretary welcomed him to play for Jamaica. So obviously the coach got the question. The um, political answer was that obviously all coaches would like to have the best. Um, the political answer was that obviously all coaches. Um, political answer was that obviously all coaches would like to have the best players available and that was kind of my answer to, to them. Uh, didn't need to take a decision on selecting and never, never came to that. So kind of trying to maybe dock the question because uh, answering questions like this, whatever you say is it will always be people supporting and then against what you are saying. So yeah, that was just my answer to the scenario. So, Al Grimson's true intent came out after. And you can see realize I replayed a particular part and it said the political answer was to say that. So, during that time period, apparently, Al Grimson was giving us, what should I call it now, false belief that he had interest in the player. Just to, peel, just to please the fans, just to please the supporters. 
So you're consistently saying that you, we don't want the best player, this or that. Right? As he said, the political answer. Fine. He also said that, you know, because he was put on the spot, he, has to give, he had to give a political answer. But the true, the, his true intention were not that of wanting um, Mason Greenwood to play for Jamaica. No, I just want to highlight that to say sometimes we see coaches saying stuff publicly but really don't know their true intentions. They say things based on the fact that they may be under a little bit of pressure to answer a particular question. So as Al Grimson said here, they gave or they would have given a political answer. And the political answer is one that would, would, would have suited the federation and also the supporters. All supporters want to hear the best stories and the best, just want to be pleased psychologically. Want to be pleased psychologically. Say the best things. Sing the best songs. <laughs> That's supporters. That's how supporters operate. That's why it's very important to look deeper. And this actually, these two clips actually kind of show, show a certain aspect of who Al Grimson um, is. Anyways, let's move now to Steve McLaren. And why I said that taking the Mason Green the thing with a pinch of salt, Steve McLaren did mention that he had he held, he held talks with a Mason Greenwood, but he did not specifically said what those talks were or about. Because he said that a few weeks ago, he saw Mason Greenwood at the training center. That was actually before the Reggae Boys thing pop up. And for those who don't know, he was heavily linked to going to Nigeria. So those discussions could have been, could have been, about Jamaica, but also those discussions could have also have been uh, have, have nothing to do with Jamaica. But he just he did mention that he had discussions. Now, in saying that, that's going to galvanize the supporters. These are the players that the coach already uh, uh, have an, uh, um, had an eye on. I'm not saying that it's wrong, because you have to sell yourself to the supporters, to the private sector, um, to the federation. You have to sell it. It's very important to do so. And that's the reason why I said take it with a pinch of salt now the other aspect of it is um steve mclaren spoke about commitment consistently speaking about commitment the question is is mason grunard committed to the cause no would have seen mason grunard quite a few times um parading in the reggae boys jersey numerous times actually parading the reggae boys jersey technically probably said send, sending subliminal messages that you know what hey look at me i'm wearing the reggae boys colors you know what that mean it means anything it means whatever you want it to mean <laughs> or it means whatever you think it means yeah something of that sort now reports came out that he missed two of his um embassy dates he missed it twice whether I did it deliberately or situations occurred on those particular days and he wasn't able to go, question may rise that, hey, is he really serious? And Steve McLaren did mention that he wants persons who are committed to the cause. Now, who's to tell that Steve McLaren might, not, uh, might go and link up with him um, in the, uh, just before the season kickoff, since he's going back? And convince him, persuade him to come and play. For me, that would be a huge, huge plus. 100%, a big, big plus. But what are the likeness? Because strong possibility, he might believe he still has a chance. Especially what he saw what happened with Ivan Tony being banned and then getting another opportunity. Who to tell that something like that might happen for him? Just hold out a little bit longer. I might see, I might see how that one go. Who's to tell that that's not how he's thinking? Because if you look at it, missing two embassy dates, you know, as me say, you, you could have missed it for real, actually good reasons, but you also could miss it deliberately. Say, you know what? Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not with it as yet. If, no, no, for the supporters, I guess, boy, MG, he's young, he has time to make the decision. But what are the players in the squad saying? 
should these decisions be made now? Or we should just wait on the players them until when they're ready? I think more, a lot of the supporters them are going to say, hey, in time, everything can come. But it boils down to also what the, um, what, the, what the players in the squad um, thinks about the situation because these are the same players who these things affect because these are the players that they'll be amongst. So it's an interesting one, a, a, a very intriguing um, situation. As McLaren said, he spoke highly about commitment and he wants players who are committed to the cause not just came, um, not just come to Jamaica or come, come on international duties because it, they can. But you want um, players who really, really want to qualify for the World Cup. So, as I said, very, very intriguing topic. Um, commitment will come in play here where Mason Greenwood is concerned. Despite him showing up in regular boys jerseys in multiple... I've seen Reese Nelson. I've seen a lot of players do so. But many, many persons say that MG, mm, you know, nothing really nice still. But I could say... I'm hopeful. I'm actually hopeful that this actually happens. But will it happen? Can we see it happen? As I said, Miss Two Embassy date. Mm, that's, in my view, a red flag. Two red flag. One, Miss One Embassy date. That's one red flag. Two, Miss Second Embassy date. That's a second red flag. And still having hopes to play for England. I probably should red flag that. So <clears throat> let's see if these red flags will just go away and he will make that decision and come and play. Will he do? That's a big question. Will he? Can um, Steve McLaren convince him that this is, a, this is a home for him? Can Steve McLaren convince him that this is the project for him going forward from here? We'll see how that one materializes. Anyways, big up on the cell, people. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And who's to tell that Steve McLaren could be under some pressure as well to make those comments about... Uh, um, you see, I'm surprised um, because... The question was asked. So he was put on the spot about Mason Greenwood and Isaac Hayden. So automatically, you know, jumping into a quick reaction mode there and, and said, you know what? Yeah, I'm interested. <laughs> Just as what Al Grimson said, quote unquote, maybe was under a bit of pressure. Anyways, big up on yourself again, people. I don't want to the video anymore. Um, MG Sports TV here, people. Glad to have you guys again. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever times when you're watching this. And good night as well. Um, have a wonderful day, people. Um, like, share, and subscribe. God bless. Link in the comment section, people. Uh, you can buy us a coffee or become a patron. We're out. Boom. Now, I mean, so I think set.